the formulas you need to know. So this is 1.1 and 1.2. We have slope, distance, and midpoint. Hopefully, these are familiar to you guys. I'm sure you've seen them in Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Geometry. Same formulas that you guys have used. They don't change. So we're going to practice using each one with two points. So I'm going to make up a point. We'll have 0, 3, and 4, 1. So these are just two points. We're going to have to find the slope between these two points, the distance between the two points, and the midpoint of these two points. So let's start with the slope. What do I need to do to find the slope? How do I know which one's my x1, y1, x2, y2? Perfect. It goes x then y. We can make this point here our first point. So I'll say this is x1 and y1. And then the second point down here will be x2 and y2. And then we can just plug these four numbers into our formula. So y2 is 1, y1 is 3, so I have 1 minus 3 on top, x2 is 4, and x1 is 0, so 4 minus 0 on the bottom. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2, and 4 minus 0. Can I simplify negative 2 over 4? What does it simplify? Awesome, negative one half. So my slope here is negative one half. So if I were to plot these two points, let me do it on the side over here. I have zero, three, so I stay at zero, go up three, put a point there. And then four, one, I would go to the right four and up one, connect the two points. Is my slope here increasing or decreasing? Decreasing. Slope, you would read from left to right. So since I'm, if I was a person walking downhill, I'm walking down. So I'd be decreasing. We also know that it's decreasing because this is negative. Our slope is negative, so that means that our slope is decreasing. So if our line were going upwards and we would be walking uphill going from left to right, that would be an increasing slope, so that would be positive. What about if my slope just went up and down? What type of slope would this have? Undefined, perfect. What would my equation of the line be here? We don't have a number, but would it be x equals or y equals? It would be x equals because we go through the x-axis. So this would be x equals whatever value this is. So 1, 2, 3. We could say x equals 4. What if my slope was just a horizontal line. What type of slope would I have here? Zero. So then this one would be y equals. So this would be like y equals five would be my equation of this line. One way you can remember it would be undefined, like the n and undefined goes up and down. The z and zero go side to side. Just a little helpful hint. All right, let's find the distance between our two points. So we're using the same points here. So we already labeled them x1, y1, x2, y2. We can keep that the same and just plug them in. So my distance would be the square root of x2, which would be 4, minus x1, which is 0 squared, plus y2, which is 1, minus y1, which is 3, squared. Now 
Let me simplify. So 4 minus 0 is? So I have 4 squared. 1 minus 3? Negative 2 squared. 4 squared is? 16. And negative 2 squared? 16 plus 4? 20. So I have the square root of 20. Can this be simplified? Yeah. Let's see what are my factors of 20. 4 and 5. What are two factors of 4? 2 and 2. So if I have a pair, I could circle it. That number comes to the outside. So what would square root 20 simplify to? 2 square root 5. Next, let's find the midpoint. So again, using these points, I'm going to plug in x2, x1, y2, y1. So my x2 is 4, x1 is 0, divided by 2. y2 is 1, y1 is 3, divided by 2. So I'm essentially just finding the average of the x's and the average of the y's. That's how we find the midpoint. So 4 plus 0 would be 4. So I have 4 over 2. And 1 plus 3 is 4. So I have another 4 over 2. What does 4 over 2 simplify to? Mm -hmm. So my point would be 2, 2. So this is my midpoint. All right. Next, we need to find the equation of a line with the given info. So we have two different types of equations of a line. I have, what's one equation of a line? Anybody remember? But what would that equation be? Y equals mx plus b. What do we call this? Slope intercept form because we have the slope and the intercept. Do you know what point slope form is? Awesome. So it's y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So this would be point slope form. So for... These questions, it just says find the equation of the line. It doesn't say what form it wants it in. So for A, I'm given the slope and a point. So what do you think would be the easiest one to use? Point slope form. I have the slope and a point, so it would be easiest to use point slope form. So let's plug in what we have. So I know 2 is my M. What am I going to plug in for x1 and y1? Negative 1 and 7. This is my point. So this would be x1, y1. So I have y minus 7 is equal to 2 times x minus negative 1. What happens when you have minus a negative? It turns positive. So this would be y minus 7 is equal to 2 times x plus 1. So this is point slope form. If this question said, what's the equation of a line, period, that would be this. This is the equation of a line. If it said, what's the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, how do you think I could find slope-intercept form? Yeah, we could do that. So she's saying I could take this equation, plug in x and y. So I have 7 is equal to, can you see that color on there? No. Is that better? Yeah. So 7 is my y is equal to, what's m? 2. Times what's x? Negative 1. Negative 1 plus b. So we're trying to figure out what our b is. 
So what should I do first? So multiply 2 times negative 1, which would be negative 2. What should I do next? Add 2. So what is B? 9. So when I plug it into slope-intercept form, I have Y equals M would be 2, X plus B is 9. So this would be slope-intercept. Can anybody think of another way to find slope-intercept form? Perfect. I could take the equation that I had in yellow over here, the one that's in point-slope form, and I could rearrange it to be y equals. So what I would do here, there's not a lot of space, but we'll make it work. I can distribute the 2. So I have y minus 7 is equal to 2x plus 2 and then add 7 to the other side. So y is equal to 2x plus 9. Awesome. Either way works. These are both slope-intercept form. Just two different methods of finding it. All right, B, we're doing the same thing. It gave us the slope and a point. So let's start with point-slope form because we're just going to need to plug those in. So what would point slope form? What's our answer here? Y, what would come next? Plus two. Plus two. So it would be minus negative two, which would turn into plus two, which I'll change that in the next step. Equals. Awesome. We plug in. 3 for x1 and negative 2 for y1, and then we plug in m for slope, so negative 3 fourths. And then I could change this to y plus 2 is equal to negative 3 fourths times x minus 3. Now, what if this question asked for slope-intercept form? What can we do? Do what? Negative 2 equals. Okay, we can plug it in. So negative 2 is equal to our slope is negative 3 fourths. X is 3 plus B. So I plugged in my point and my slope for B. What should I do next? Multiply. So what is negative 3 over 4 times 3? Negative 9 over 3. Awesome. When multiplying fractions, multiply the tops together, multiply the bottoms together. So negative 9 over 4. What do I need to do next? Add the 9 over 4 to the other side. So I have 9 over 4 minus 2. How do I subtract these? What do I need in order to subtract fractions? Common denominator. So I can make this 2 over 1. And then how can I make them have a common denominator? Multiply by 4 over 4. So that would make this... 8 over 4. So 9 minus 8 is 1 fourth. So B is 1 fourth. Now that I found B, I can plug that back into my slope intercept form. So I have Y is equal to our slope, which is negative 3 over 4 X plus B, which is 1 over 4. Next, C. 
So I need my equation of a line here. What can I do first? Uh, you can find m. I can find m. So what's my slope formula? m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Awesome. And I can just label my points as x1, y1, x2, y2, and then plug them all in. So I would have 7 minus 1 on top and negative 8 minus negative 8 on the bottom. 7 minus 1 is 6. What happens when I have minus a negative? It becomes a plus, so it's negative 8 plus 8. Zero. When I have 0 on the bottom, it is undefined. So when 0 is in the bottom of your denominator, it's undefined. So if I were to graph this, I would have a point at negative 8, 1, and negative 8, 7. My line would go right through the middle. So what would my equation of the line be? Awesome. X equals negative 8. So just because my slope is undefined doesn't mean I don't have an equation, an equation of the line. Slope is undefined, so we know that the line is going to go straight up and down. It goes through the x-axis at negative 8, so that's why our equation is X is equal to negative 8. We need to write the equation of the line through the given point that's parallel to and perpendicular to the given line and passes through the point. So what do we know about two lines that are parallel? What do we know about their slopes? Same slopes. So when lines are parallel, they have the same slope. What about when they're perpendicular? Just the reciprocal? The opposite reciprocal. So opposite reciprocal, meaning opposite, we change the sign. So if it's positive, it would then become negative. Reciprocal means that we flip it. So if I had a slope of 3 fourths, what would the opposite reciprocal of 3 fourths be? Negative 4 thirds. So we're given a line and a point. So if I'm trying to find an equation of a line that's parallel to this line, what do I know about the slope? It's going to be the same. How do I find the slope of this line? What do I need to do? Put it in slope-intercept form. So what should I do first to put it in slope-intercept form? Move the 3x to the other side, so I'd have 4y, I subtract 3x, is equal to negative 3x plus 7. What would I do next? Divide everything by 4. So y is equal to negative 3 fourths x plus 7 fourths. So what's my slope here? Negative 3 fourths. This is my slope. The rest of it doesn't matter. All we care about is the slope here. So my slope of the line that's parallel to this one is going to have the same slope. How do I come up with an equation of the line now that I have the slope and the point? What do I do? I can plug it into point slope form. So point slope form, just to remind us, is y minus y1 
is equal to m times x minus x1. So I'd have y minus, what's y1? Uh, seven, eighths. seven eighths. Our slope is negative 3 fourths times x. What is x1? Negative 2 over 3. So what happens when I have minus negative 2 over 3? It becomes plus 2 over 3. What if this question said that it wanted it in slope-intercept form? What should we do? Distribute. So I'd have y minus 7 eighths is equal to negative 3 fourths x plus, how would I multiply negative 3 fourths times 2 thirds? Do I need a common denominator when multiplying fractions? No. I just multiply the tops together and multiply the bottoms. So this would become negative what? 6 over 12, which would simplify to what? One half. What do I need to do next? Add seven eighths to the other side. So y is equal to negative 3 fourths x. Then I have negative 1 half plus 7 eighths. What do I need when adding fractions? Common denominator. So what can I do to get a common denominator? Multiply the first one times 4 on the top and the bottom. So this would become 4 over 8. So it should be negative 4. So that would be... 3 over 8. Good call. Be careful with your signs. All right, so we found when the line's parallel, so this is A, what should I do if I'm looking for a line perpendicular to the given line? The opposite reciprocal of what? The slope. And I already found the slope here, so all I need is the slope that's opposite reciprocal. So I'm going to say m but perpendicular, so this is a little perpendicular sign, would be what? What's the opposite reciprocal of negative 3 over 4? Positive 4 over 3. And we do the same thing again. So I have y minus y1, which is 7 over 8, is equal to our slope is 4 thirds times x minus negative 2 thirds. So that would become plus 2 thirds.